pan. We're waiting for ledgers, eh? <laughs> waiting for ledgers, eh? I'm sitting right on my push in my lay place. Canavis 1603. Waiting for ledgers. When you are a national leader, when the government takes a decision there are times you don't agree it just that the supreme court renders a decision you don't agree with it but you have to respect it as a law abiding person and so as, as senator of this county before we went to break um, for 26 break I made an argument on the Senate floor and that argument made sense and I made the motion for us to hold census between February and March in 2023 to give legal sufficiency of time for us to correct the administrative lapses at ledgers to get the president to sack some people out of ledgers because the LACC have reported that too much corruption was over there that the recruitment uh, the processes leading to purchase of equipment and other materials were marred by corruption and neglecting the laws and other stuff the same people who cause the problem cannot be the same people to preserve over the conduct of the census. Just because you postpone or extend it by a few days, it does not solve the problem with the same people who created the problem. Especially so when the creation of the problem was not by error, it was by design. And the design was to cause people to steal and to corrupt the system. And people show their gross ineptitude, gross incompetence to get a piece of job done. And so I made a motion, the Senate voted that the census will be February, March 2023. And they will also help because at least we will be in the dry season and some of the roads will be a little bit okay, pliable where these enumerators, you know, can reach every village, every nook, and every corner in the country so that people can be truly counted. But you know, we are a country that panic, especially by the time we hear about international community people talk. So while we're on break, the president will call us to a special session, special emergency session, and one of which reason was for us to reverse our decision to, to bring the censor, the conduct of the censor earlier in October, November, so that, because if we didn't do so, Liberia will have to spend more money. We had 21,000 uh, electronic tablets, gadgets, you know, where you can recall the data and all that stuff. If we didn't do the census by this time, then uh, we will have to return the, 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 the electronic tablets that we borrowed from Ghana. And then that means we will be looking for and, and, uh, another five million dollars or so to buy the 21,000 tablets that we will need. And the reason that they say we shouldn't waste that money is because, and it, to some extent it makes sense, that if the tablets are for conduct of census, and we will not be doing census until after 10 years, Every, every time, from time to time, these electronic things are, uh, are upgraded, and you know, maybe these tablets will be using this year. Ten years from now, they will be of no use because they will, be, they will have been upgraded, you know. The companies will have made new, different kinds of, you know, gadgets that will be outdated by ten years from now. So why do we spend $5 million to buy? something that we have available from our neighboring um, country, Ghana, 
to use for far less amount of money. So all of these things twisted our hands. We return to emergency session. We revise the decision. The Senate voted a signing resolution for the census to begin to to end to end to end the census process. That means including counting and everything to be concluded by the seventh of November. Um, then nothing happened. Then they came back. We should please extend it. They wanted us to extend it by two weeks so that it will end all of the processes, including the counting, the enumeration, as we call it, will end by uh, on the 22nd of November. Then we debated, and my argument was to, as to, to, to reason in extending the, the conduct of the census. It's not a big deal to me. But why should we keep extending the conduct of the census with the same people in charge who created the mess for which we keep extending? And every time we extend the number of days, the additional money. You know, so to sign a resolution, to agree for us to hold a census, extended, uh, extended version of, uh, of the census, uh, uh, authorizing the extension, without insisting that people who cause the nonsense for which we are, we keep extending and they are still there then we are in, we are enabling the nonsense that they're doing then that means we the senate the legislature we are enabler and we are aiding and abetting the corruption the 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 gross in ineptitude uh, uh incompetence uh, of what the folks and ladies are doing and but we been where we are as a country you don't want you don't you don't you don't always want to stand as a quote-unquote lone hero in fact most time when you're standing up at the time you get beaten more <laughs> mm -hmm. So yesterday, the Liberian Senate took a decision with tire extending, and you know, the deadline, the, the, with tire extending. So what we did, as a Senate, I had left to go to Elections Commission, but what the Senate institutionally did, and I don't have a problem with that, is that instead of the two weeks request that the census counting in Nima Russia will begin today, being a national holiday, and the entire process will end, mean, come to a stop, conclude on the 22nd. The legislature decided that we were extended to on or before. That means from today, on or before, and up to including. Uh, but not beyond January 15, 2023. Because, <laughs> yeah, they get it, got it. Oh, gonna, you know, yeah, you go clean up your mess. You get between now and January 15 to go clean up your mess. The people know they're ready today. The president does not have the courage, the vision, the leadership to even say, look, from everything I've seen, the legislature has at least tried again to to give us some time. So uh, no holiday today. I will give legislators one week to clean up her mess in it because since they now have up to January 15, we we clean we give legislators another week to clean up all of this mess, and then we will show that before the close of November, that they are prepared to get in the field to go do the enumeration. Then I will declare the holiday to, as a start. But he the way the mayor of the country declare holiday today. Some people can't even get out to go find the food. Some people go to the market, police people there, whipping the people out of the market, driving marketers out of the market to go home. You go home, no enumerator there. You go look for your food, they be out of the street. I've been home since this morning, since 8 o'clock. 
My family and I have been home since 8 o'clock this morning. I've been sitting on this porch. Um, every knock on my gate there, the officer made sure that he knows who's that. No religious people have come to me. I've been on this porch since 8.30. Uh, I've changed my t-shirt and all from the first t-shirt I was wearing. <laughs> and, and I changed my reading glasses to dark shades and all. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and I'm waiting. Waiting. Even when I'm in this counter, even when I'm home, if somebody has just shown us one picture or shown out one picture of us, even maybe in our neighborhood, The people who quit or criticize or like to see everything about us that would make it look like we're not for them, they will be using that photo to say, say that they don't, they're not exercising leadership, they're not home. They see people finding photo, they on the social media finding photo of any president around the world who has not been home on since of day and who is leaving his country with no rights and all the crisis going on, who going to watch a walk up. The only uh, internet looking for comparison. If some of us were just on the street in at some neighbor's place today, and somebody took photos, oh, sign up, they don't leave by example. I've been sitting on the porch since this morning. I changed my t-shirt wall first, as you may have seen the photo that I put up this morning. I'm here because we want to do leadership by example. I'm home, not because I have an inf agreement any longer with the religious nonsense. I'm tired. I wanted to pass over. Now, you, when you do these things, you make the integrity and credibility of the result questionable. Questionable. When you do that, you got Liberians losing faith in any governance. And you know, event and processes. But let me say this. Legis report, census report. Maybe someone can prove me wrong. Census report can only impact the number of seats that can uh that you have in the legislature in the house of representatives the population census report can only affect the number of seats in the house of representatives the constitution said the number of seats in the house of representatives should never pass by 100. so every time we conduct census if the population grow or increases the number of seats may increase if the population size reduces the number of seats in the house of representatives may reduce a census report census population report does not say how many voters in that county so when people panicking oh they will use the thing here to do all kind of thing with the election census report especially the population aspect does not say how many voters in a county what says how many voters in a county is voter registration if one million people reside in Montserrado county and on voter registration time only 100,000 registered to vote Montserrado county will have 100 1 million population but with only 100,000 registered voters. Hello? Let me repeat. If Grand Bazaar County have 500,000 people resident in the county, counted or reportedly counted by ladies as the population of Grand Bazaar County, some of those people may be below 18, some above 18, but you see, you can be 18 and above, and you can be 1 million living in a place, residing in a county, 
if the one million people who are above 18 who are eligible to vote qualify to register to vote if none of them register to vote that county will be having 500 residents 500,000 residents but no voter nobody registered to vote so nobody can vote so don't panic don't panic maybe they will, you won't increase the population size of a county to increase the number of seats in the legislature especially in the house of representatives when you have one million people residing in Montserrado county one million people the population of Montserrado, for instance if it is one million people and all during the voter registration period only 50,000 of the 1 million people went to register to vote, Montserrado County will be counted as a county with 1 million population resident, but only 50,000 registered voters. That means Montserrado get plenty of people living here, but their voting population is small and insignificant, 50,000. If 200,000 people a resident in Grand Basso County and 100,000, 125,000 of the 200,000 people who are resident of Grand Basso County go register to vote when the voter registration process is on by voting politically, Grand Basso County will be more relevant than Montserrado County, even though Montserrado County has plenty of people. But plenty of people they didn't register to vote. Even though Grand Basso County may have far less people resident there, but more people register to vote. So politically, most of Grand Basso County will be more relevant. And you know what they call vote which county. The more people who register to vote determine whether the county is vote rich. Now how many persons live in the county? How many persons live in a county? Uh, uh, helps the developmental agenda to determine what goes there in terms of development in terms of voting the politics what makes a county vote rich is not the number of persons who live there it's the number of persons who register to vote i hope we can understand some of these things at least some of these fears so i'm home I been here since eight thirty. We want to share a change now. The morning I was having me on my reading glasses <laughs> with different teacher. In the afternoon and the sun getting hot. I stay sitting down to the same place. I change my teacher with dark shades on now. In the evening, I will be here. And you know, vote uh, on election day. Voting can start eight o'clock in the morning and end six o'clock. I will be here six o'clock. I will open this video again to tell you that I stay here and. And nobody came from Lages. That I mean, we fulfill our sir. The Liberian people in their disappointment, the Liberian people in their disbelief and distrust of even this process, they still made effort to obey, stay home, and still enumerators have not come. Even with the people disbelieve, mistrust, and distrust in the process, they still stay home to wait for legis enumerators. And still, legis enumerators have not come. So, the fact that the hearing will start today on this holiday, if the legislature had not had some wisdom to say, Instead of us extending new resolution every now and then, let's just get them up to January 15. If we are not done so as, a, as an institution that they did not even start today, after November 22, they will be coming back for us to do a new resolution again. What nonsense is that? And so, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you, yeah. I'll be back here at 6 o'clock. Shut six. Ain't no one pulling when pulling places close to 6 o'clock, eh? <laughs> 6 o'clock. I'll be back here to tell you finally ledges came or ledges did not come. 
Happy holiday. <laughs> Happy Caesar's day. By the way, the World Cup is starting on the 20th of November. <clears throat> The World Cup begins the 20th of November. The president of Liberia will be in Qatar for the World Cup on the, by the 15th of November. The president will arrive five days before the players then start arriving. Just we are the president of Liberia will arrive to go start watching the World Cup five days before the players themselves will start arriving in Qatar. The president of Liberia. So citizens are on the website looking for which president now go to walk up five days before the walk up started so they can make comparison. The president of Liberia will be at the walk up for nine days. So country when they finish playing within the first five days and then make it for the preliminary, they can pack up the goal. The president of Liberia will be in Qatar. Let me repeat. The walk up starts on the 20th of November. The president of Liberia, in keeping with his official letter he wrote to the Senate, informing us about where he will, where he going and where he will be. The president said he will be in Qatar from the 15th of November to the 23rd. So that means the work up starting on the 20th. The president of Liberia will be in the in Qatar five days. Some of the player who go and play will still be in the country then preparing to go to Qatar. The president of Liberia will be there already waiting for them. But we thought I want to see something like, yeah. Oh, let's see how legends will end the day. So we want to open this video again at 6 o'clock to close the day. We'll talk about the president and the walk up. And the painful nonsense that this country is going through on George We are again. Let me repeat. The painful nonsense this country is going through on George We are again. And thankfully, it will soon come to an end. But I see you at 6 o'clock, yeah? God willing. Right here on this push. Bye-bye. <laughs>